Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a skin in Minecraft. We're also going to be going over, you know, how to add this skin to Minecraft. And then if you want, how you can get the skin file to like edit it in a more advanced editing program like Photoshop or GIMP or something like that. So those are the more advanced editors though. This is going to allow you to make a skin and pretty much give you all the tools you have to have. But if you are familiar with Photoshop or a more advanced editing tool, I'll show you how to do that as well. But nevertheless, first and foremost, we do have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Host. You can go to the first link down below, thebreakdown.xyz slash Apex. Get an incredible 24-hour DDoS in Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you're looking for a great Minecraft server for you and your friends to love and enjoy, check out Apex at the first link down below. That's the breakdown.xyz slash Apex and show your skin off to your friends on your own Minecraft server. But nevertheless, let's get our skin created. So this is the skin decks and this is their skin decks skin editor or skin creator. You can find this linked in the description down below. And this is all you're ever going to need to create a Minecraft skin, right? It is all here. Now, I'm going to go through all the tools here, but the first thing I want to talk about is dragging this around. So if we click anywhere not on the skin, right, if we click like over here to the side, we can actually move this around. Minecraft's 3D, your character skins are 3D, and so they have four sides, really they have more than that, right, because they have the top and the bottom and six sides, but overall, there's a bunch of different surfaces here that you can like edit and, and you know, make a character on. So I'm not going to be going in depth with like me making my character. This is not what this video is about. What I'm going to be doing is showing you how to make a character in depth. So here we have that. We have it all set up. Let's go ahead and go through everything. First, you have to decide over here on the right hand side, very bottom, if you want the classic Steve skin or the slim Alex skin. So as you can see, classic is going to be Steve and then you have the slim Alex skin. I'm actually going to be using the slim skin for this because why not? And then we do have over here on the left hand side, I'm going to run through all these tools. We have the pencil tool. What that's going to allow you to do is like, you know, do draw with like a pencil sort of a thing, right? Like so, right? Just kind of draw and however you want. And then we do have the eraser. Let's say you mess something up, you can remove whatever you've messed up using the eraser, or right like that. And then let's say we want to kind of make things look natural, right? And we want to have two different colors. And that's going to look natural. If you make something all one color, like this right here, it's overwhelming. However, if you use this thing called auto tone here, it's going to make it look more natural. See how much more natural that's becoming as I add in this auto tone and make things look a bit different and like different colors? See, that looks a lot more natural and a lot like fake. And then you do have the color picker. And what the color picker is going to do is say, ooh, this green was nice, but I want this blue instead. You can click on that with a color picker and then boom, now this blue appears over here. And you can come in and you can use that if you want the, the blue instead of the green, right? Cool stuff. And then we do have this paint or bucket, excuse me, this bucket tool over here. And basically this paint bucket is going to allow you, let's say you want to do a color this entire torso blue. Boom. You can do that. Blue, 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 blue. And then let's say you wanted to rotate and you want to just do all size blue. Let's say you were doing a, a base, you know, of blue. And then you were gonna go from there. So that's what this is going to allow us to do. We're gonna do the base of blue here, all the way around, right like so. Why are we doing it this way? I don't know, we just are, but here we are. We have this base of blue, right like so. So pretty cool stuff. And what that is going to now do is give us a base to create the skin. I'll just leave it like this and create the skin off of this, why not? And then we do have the undo buttons over here. As you can see, I'm undoing the bottoms of the feet right there. You can undo a few more and you'll start to see stuff, you know, go away. Right, like so, right? But we want to add it all back. We can just click the redo button and all the stuff that we added is going to come right on back like it never went away. So you have the undo and the redo buttons over here. Then let's say we don't like this blue. We want it to be a few shades lighter. We can click on that very easily and boom. Now we have a lighter blue and eh, maybe we want an even darker blue, right? We can go as dark as we can. That's going to be obviously black. So maybe there we go. There's a little bit of a darker blue. So you've got those different options to be able to do that. And yeah, that's kind of the overview of these tools. You can also zoom out and zoom in. And then there is also this mirror feature at the bottom. And basically what that means is what you do on this kind of left-hand side, it's gonna do on the right-hand side. So as you can see, make the arms blue right like so. It's going to do that on both sides and mirror it across right like that. So that's kind of the basis of it. And at this point, it's kind of just playing around with whatever you want as a skin and getting that set up. So I'm gonna make a very simple, basic skin. I'm gonna make a green man. I don't know why, but I'm going to do that. That's just kind of what I decided. So we're gonna kind of choose this green here and I'm gonna go through and do this like two-tone all the way around, right? And I want to, I don't want it to be all one solid color. I want it to be kind of a bunch of different colors. It's gonna sort of look like a creeper, but not really. And we're gonna do this all the way around. It can be a time consuming process. I would say it probably to make something as simple as what I'm gonna make, you know, three to or five to 10 minutes, somewhere like that, to make something a little more advanced, maybe even like 20, 30 minutes to make a Minecraft skin. Now, what if you wanna use a more advanced tool though? What if you wanna use something that's not like this, you know, the skin decks here? Well, what you would do is you would simply come in here and you can just add whatever you want to this, you know, maybe make it all white or whatever. And then the bottom right, click this download button. 
that's going to download a file and then you can edit that to make your Minecraft skin. So pretty simple stuff. Just edit that, open that with Photoshop, open that with GIMP, whatever photo editor you want to use and you can use that in there. However, I'm not going to be doing that. I'm just going to be using the skin decks because really and truly this is all you're ever going to need for a Minecraft skin. They're not complicated files. They're very easy to make overall. So yeah, this is kind of all you're ever going to need. But I'm going to go ahead and get our skin created here. And then I'll show you how to download it, add it to Minecraft. We'll check it out on play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. And then I will see you after... Um after, well, then I guess we're done. You've created a skin, you've added it to Minecraft, and yeah, th that's kind of that. So I'll see you after I get this skin set up. So there we go. I made an all green skin. Kind of looks like a grass block, uh, if I'm honest. Like a, you know, a grass block with Optifine that's all one color. But I'm going to go with that. That's it. That's all I'm going to do. You could go in here and add in eyes and all that stuff if you wanted to. But that's it. That's all I'm doing for this. And we'll call it a day there. So let's go ahead and now download this. As you can see, it download in the bottom right. It's going to download Right down here in the bottom left, you shouldn't need to keep or save the file. Mozilla Firefox, you may need to save it in the streaming screen, but it's just a simple little PNG file. And as I said, if you wanted to edit this on your, you know, normal browser, you could, or not normal browser, excuse me, on like a, a Photoshop or something like that, you could using this file. Like if I open this up in Photoshop, you'll be able to see that we can edit it, but it, it's not, it's not going to be great. It's not a great editing experience. It's a very, very small file. I mean, literally the resolution on this is, I believe going to be, yes, 64 by 64 there. You can see 64 by 64. So not a big file at all. And that's normally what Minecraft skins are. They're just 64 by 64. So you're going to be zoomed in a ton editing pixel by pixel if you decide to do it in Photoshop, which you really don't need to do, as you just saw. You can create pretty much any skin you want. Most skins are actually created off of, off of like, you know, skin decks or something similar there. So let's go ahead and open this up. I'll open it in Photoshop just to prove just to prove that in fact you can edit in Photoshop. There it is. You can zoom all the way in and you can see all the stuff that we did here. We even, you can even see how we messed this little blue area up there. As you can see, I missed a spot. I think probably the bottoms of the feet I missed there. So pretty cool stuff. Let's go ahead and get this in Minecraft. To do this, you want to click here. I'm going to be doing this on an alt account that I have. Let's go ahead and click on skins there. And then you want to get a plus over here, plus new skin. You can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it grass skin from tutorial because why not we used the slim skin if you use this classic you're going to use that but we use the slim and then go ahead and click browse and then we're going to come to the desktop where this is at now it might be in your downloads folder and if it is there we go that is now added now if you might be wondering why is this black here i'll show you i actually forgot something so if we come back over here we can click on the body so right now we've gotten the outer layer done but the body is all empty so as you can see if you click on that it's going to show this body and that's going to allow us to change the inside of that now just to show you that i'm changing this we're going to do something a little crazy we're going to make all of this pink like this i guess this isn't pink this is more of a purple but we're going to make all of this purple here in order to just show you that I am in fact changing the body. Now it's not gonna affect the exterior of the skin, right? But it, what it is going to affect is like that walking motion and all of that. So that's what that's going to be changing there. So let's go ahead and make sure we're all good. Try to get all sides. If I miss a side, it's not a big deal because this is just for the tutorial. Now we can turn that outer layer back on. We're gonna re-download this skin and then we're going to re-upload it. I don't like that, so we're gonna re-upload it here. This time we're gonna be downloading that new file and we'll be able to see that it should, if it does grab the new file. I don't think it did. Let's see. Let's see if it grabs the new file there. But we can see all the stuff that is now pink, right? You see all that? A lot of pink suddenly is there. So add new skin, browse, boom, grab the new one. And then we can go ahead it's still black there. It's going to change. It should change at least once we get in game. But nevertheless, we're going to do tutorial skin, right? Like so, and then save and use. So it's going to save that, apply the skin, boom. Now we're going to jump in game. We're just in 1.15.2, but it doesn't matter what version you use. It's going to change your skin the same way there. And we're going to jump on Breakdown Craft, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse and show this skin off. So pretty cool stuff. Let's go ahead and load this right on up, right? Like so, just zoom, waiting, waiting. And then once we are here, multiplayer, play.breakdowncraft.com, best Minecraft server in the multiverse. 178 people online on a random, what, today's, today's, today's Monday. But here we are in our medieval Asgard server. Let's go ahead and if we switch around, um, what is it, is it F5? Yep, there we go. As you can see, here we are. We still have that, uh, that, that black on the interior there, which is very odd, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not going to lie. Let me see if I can figure out how to fix that, and then we'll go from there. Ah, so I apologize. It's been a while since I've done this, and so I'm, I'm making some mistakes here. But nevertheless, what you want to do is you want to come in here and make sure... See, there's a plane that, that's not... 
that's not done. So what you want to do is come down here in the bottom right. And again, we only have the body selected here. We don't have the outer layer selected. This is just the body. And we can come in here and kind of look around as we delete these for empty planes. As you can see, there was one. And then we can come in here, do this, and we're going to find one right there. Boom. Right like so. Delete this one. There's one. All right, like that. Then come in here and delete that one. I think we're all good there. But then we have the inner legs, right? Bam, right like so. And then we actually want to do that the other way as well. And we want to just come back through and make sure we're not missing anything, anything at all. That could, you know, potentially be weird once you get in game. And I think we are almost good. Yeah, looks like we are all good now. So now we download this again, final time. Sorry, everyone. And then we're obviously going to have to close out of Minecraft and re-upload this. We should see, even in the Minecraft launcher, that black inner leg should now be pink. Right, not the best, but anyway, we'll add a new skin here. We'll do tutorial two, and then this is going to be the slim skin. We are going to browse. We're going to grab the most recent file we downloaded, and there you go. As you can see, that's pink. The reason it's pink is because that's what we made it. That was just a, a little mistake on my part, and I do apologize for that. But luckily, it's not hard to go back and edit those skins and change them and rearrange them and all of that stuff. So. Yeah, that is that. That is pretty simple and pretty easy, and I'm just going to jump in game to show you that it is, in fact, working in game as well. But um, yeah, you now know how to uh, make a Minecraft skin. It's a simple process that I honestly, you know, kind of overcomplicated in this and, and drug it out a little bit here in this video, but I think that's okay. I think it was pretty thorough. I think we went through every potential avenue of issues that you could have, and as you can see, you can see all that pink that does appear, and the reason, again, that is appearing is because we are, uh, you know, we, we made it pink so you could see where all that stuff was. We even missed right there on that inner on that inner area there on that arm, actually. So if we come back over to our skin, I'm not going to redo it, but I just want to show you that we did, in fact, miss an area there. Boom. We missed right there. We didn't make that area pink. But now it is. So, yeah. Awesome stuff. There you all have it. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. I'm going to go off and try to be a grass block. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Enjoy your new Minecraft skins, and I'm out. Peace.